Have you ever watched Clone High? It's grade school drama starring the clones of JFK, Gandhi, Cleopatra, and Adolf Hitler. I never watched it much, but I can say that as a former DNA scientist, I can confirm that the odds of Clone High being real are slim to none because of the way that DNA melts underneath the Earth's surface like a coffee-stained kaleidoscope. <coughs> Sorry, I was dropping LSD earlier. Anyway, I don't know if Clone High is a bad show because I never watched the thing and they make Gandhi out to be the comic relief, which is obviously racist. So I, I guess it is a bad show after all. Yeah. <clears throat> I was eating a Pizza Hut Express meaty marinara and restructuring the tinfoil bowl into a tinfoil hat when the door rang. I opened the door, and it was my next-door neighbor, Mr. Anderson. He was fat, and his voice made him sound like he shoved broomsticks up his ass, which I can confirm that he did because I used to look into his house with binoculars. <clears throat> now, I don't want to cause you any trouble, but you parked on top of my lawn again this morning. Mr. Anderson pedantically remarked. I looked outside the door and it looked just like one of those tangy, delicious, spiraled out suckers. The lollipops, you foreigners, to me. Here you go, <laughs> have some applesauce. I muttered between nervous chuckles, shoving LSD into his colostomy bag. I went to sit down and my anus hurt, presumably from popped out anal fissures, and upon closer inspection, Mr. Anderson had popped a VHS tape into my pocket. I inspected it with a magnifying glass before the fuzz, the font was fuzzy. It was also tinier than George Edson's micro penis. The lost episode of Clone High, it read in size 12 unicorn glitter. <clears throat> I revved up the bong and popped the cat into the VHS player, and, and I guess along with the VHS tape, too, because something did start to play on the television screen. You know, through the kid cuisine pudding and Ben Gay smears, I, I could make out the usual Clone High title screen, except that it said Clone High Madagascar. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Clone Clone High took place in somewhere else, I forget. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I readjusted the stylish Buddy Holly glasses that I snatched from the trash and squinted a little until the characters burned into my brain like a Numa Numa guy striptease. It didn't say Clone High Madagascar. It said Clone High Argentina. Below it was a taco. I snatched my hand on the TV to grab it. No dice. It was glued onto the screen. After salivating for ten whole minutes at the delicious taco shell, ground beef, lettuce, mole sauce. Now, after salivating for ten minutes, I paid attention to the little bit left of the episode. As it turned out... As it turned out, the first 10 minutes of the program was a 600-second zoom-in on the famous painting of John Wilkes Booth murdering President Lincoln at that one theater. So I felt okay about missing that as a proud American. The episode began with Abraham Lincoln's teenager clone smoking pot at the grassy knoll. I don't violently resist your smelly green herb, Mahatma Gandhi clone said. He was wearing a turban. To this, Abraham Lincoln clone got very, very mad. I could tell because he let out a lace of profanities before taking out a knife and carving up an apple really fast. Then he stabbed Gandhi. Just messing with you. He, he sat there in silence and ate apple slices while mocking India and claiming Gandhi could go starve to death and swim in the same water he took a crap in. What the hell was this? <sighs> I always knew this show was racist. 
I cannot tell a lie. You smell like shit because you swim in the same water. As... Ah, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not watching that. I ejected the tape and I mailed it off to the Noah's Ark Museum as a donation. Seems that if people want to live in delusion, they may as well surround themselves with delusion. Then again, such is life. And I'm the Joker just by living it. I would sigh if I could, but I had my sigh muscles removed. I got myself some sleep, and when I woke up, I checked my mailbox. You know, the best time of the day is when I fetch the mail. I'm even known by my mustachioed Christian neighbor, what's his name, with the patience of a saint. Not really ringing a bell. I think he talked to me recently. I sang a mail song to myself so loudly that I'm, I'm not surprised that I couldn't hear it, but his dog could. So he ran away from home and joined the army. His dog's joining the army, yeah. I don't know, recruitment is down. It's not hard to imagine. Anyway, I checked the mailbox, and the stupid freaking DVD was there. Or really, it was a DVD and a VHS case somehow with a return to sender note written on it. You know, all it took was one night for the tape to get to, what, uh, Alabama, I guess, wherever the Noah's Ark thing is, and transubstantiate into a DVD. Well, so much for American evangelism. I, this inspired me to join the Catholic Church. I married a trad wife and had 11 children before I got kicked out for eating all the communion wafers and drinking all the wine. Also LSD. I pressed play on the VHS player and expected quality entertainment. Got none of it. Clone High Argentina concluded in a shocking manner that quite honestly still shocks and offends me to this day. And I'm still afraid of high school children even now. In fact, in fact, a vein snapped in my neck at what I saw, which resulted in chronic neurological tinnitus. It was a school play with Nazi puppets. I like to eat the pretzels and drink the Red Bull on my cell phone because I stupid, ignorant American. Puppet Hitler was missing a mustache. This was weird. This was weird. The camera panned to a bunch of test tubes. Somehow the camera panned in cartoon. With little Charlie Chaplin mustachioed babies with their hands up in a questionable saluting pose. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I now knew the horrifying truth about Clone High. This wasn't Clone High USA, Madagascar, or even Argentina. This was the boys of Brazil. I smacked myself in the head with a shovel before burying the tape in my backyard with it. When I woke up, I was dead. Not physically, but emotionally. I shrieked in horror when I looked out the powder room balcony and perused what I saw. A massive beanstalk towered into the air in the patch of dirt where I'd planted the DVD. Oh, I climbed up the organic wonder until the air thinned out so much that I could no longer breathe. You know, I'd like to say that I asphyxiated myself to death, but instead I fell off into the sky and had a fatal heart attack long before I ever touched the ground or my body burned up in the air. I can't really tell with astronomical physics these days. The clone high the chest cake smiled a sinister smile as it flew up out of the ground, ate up the entire beanstalk and the body, and flew all the way to Madagascar, having completed its vile, supremacist, hateful little mission. <laughs>